Hey all, we're gonna do um for today's game. I'm I'm actually excited about well I'm excited about all of them all the time, but this one is is it's an addition of Shit's Creek. If you're a fan of the show, if you've ever seen the show, let me know what you think of this show. Lots of people like the show. That's what I'm told. Uh, my parent, my dad and sister are a huge fan. I couldn't really get into it for some reason, um, but it's still, it would still be a fun game. You would just have to figure out like some, some of the characters if you're unsure of who they are, or if you have someone who, or have someone in the game who is a Schitt's Creek fan, a huge fan of the show because then they will know the characters because these cards that I will explain to you in a minute here have some character names on them and I'm not 100% sure of who is who. Um, so also you have your phones to figure out who it is. So I'm going to put my phone and do that right now. Shit. There we go. Okay. So we have the humor in a box and you can go on the site it looks like called the game of things and this is the Shits creek edition so the object the true object of the game is laughter but if you're concerned about winning here's how to play in each round players write a response to a topic your response can be as outrageous as um outrageous or as straightforward as you would like read them all out loud and then take turns trying to eliminate each player by guessing which player wrote which response there is 188 topics response pad sticker and a sticker sheet so this is the sticker sheet here um those are cool stickers um we have the whole pile here of of the the deck and we have the notes. Okay. You ready? You ready? Anyways, so what? So set up the game. Someone keeps score using an, a random sheet of paper. Oops, I don't have on me, which I didn't think about. Well, I don't really need it because I don't have any, but I'll have someone later to play to play it with, but not right now. But use your own sheet. How I do it, and anyone, and it's probably the same way, is the names and then just a ticky, ticky thing of who won that round. Okay. So, every player needs a pencil or pen just to make sure everyone has the same color ink and one sheet from the response pad. That makes sense to have a, color, a piece of an ink so everyone has the same color. What the reader does keeps the game moving, doesn't let people linger to, okay, oh sorry. What you do, oh no, I'm not, oh my gosh, I'm all over the map right now. I'm just trying to show you everything, <laughs> sorry. So every player needs the same color uh, pen or pencil and one sheet from a response pad, which are these right here. And if you can really see, there's those li um, lines, so you can rip them easily. So, I don't know if you can see it better now, but yeah, you can rip them easily. They're there to rip easy, easy for you to do a response. Um, and everyone gets one sheet. Place the cards face down with within reach of all players. So of course you put that in the middle. Okay, what you do. Pick a player to be the reader for the first round. I'm just going to put this here. I don't know if you guys know you wouldn't see it. Pick a player for the first round to be the reader. For the first round, this player picks a topic and reads it aloud. 
What the reader does keeps the game moving, doesn't let people linger too long on the responses, and reads all the responses aloud. Rereads the responses for those with short memories. Oh, so you want to read those again, reread yours. Every Everyone, including the reader, writes a response on one strip of paper from their response sheet, fold it twice, and give it to the reader. Um... Important, there is no single correct response, so you can be as straightforward or as outrageous as you want. As a Schitt's Creek fan, though, you just know these things, right? The reader reads all the responses aloud a couple of times. The player to the left of the reader guesses the first. The guesser chooses any one of the responses and tries to match it to any of the players. If the match is correct, the guesser gets a point. And another guess. Okay, so say I am the reader, the person to my left will will get to guess whose response was whose. If that player gets it right, well, then they will get the point, and they will get another guess. The re reader give then gives the response strip back to its writer who can no longer guess until the next round or topic. Okay, so, oh, so, no, who, no, so, no, can no longer guess until the next round. Okay. Uh, if the guesser is incorrect, it's now the next active player to the left's turn to match anyone's response to any one player. Players remain players remain active in the round until someone matches them to the response play continually moves left around the tables as you eliminate players and responses you don't get any points for eliminating yourself um the round ends when only one player has not been matched to the response the person to the left of the reader now becomes the new reader the game and the games end when a every player has been the reader or b the number of rounds agreed upon at the beginning uh, um have been played scoring i like how very descriptive this is actually this is a really good easy one to follow scoring one point <coughs> for each correct guess during a round um and two points to the player who is left at the end of the round no one has guessed what the player wrote Winning the player with the most points at the end is the winner. So that's easy peasy. Okay, so I guess I saw read something here. So the player to the left, the player to the left of the reader guesses first. The guesser chooses any one of the response and tries to match it to any one of the players. Mm -hmm. If the match is correct, the guesser gets a point and another guess. So this person beside me is correct, they get another guess. Um, the reader then gives the response strip to its reader and who can no longer guess until the next round or topic. If the guesser is incorrect, it's now the next active player's turn. So if you get it correct, you get your guess. Or you get it again, I guess you keep going if you keep getting the guesses right. But if you lose the second one, it goes to the next player for the for the whole round. And then um, unless someone ends up getting everyone out or, or however that works, I'm still kind of... When only one player has not been matched to the response, the person to the left of the reader now becomes... Okay, so... If they get everyone, if they I guess if they get everyone's guesses or they match whoever matches, um, or I guess when you run out of matches or whatever is when the game or the round ends, right? Um, and when only one player has been matched to the response, so the round end ends when only one player has been matched to their response. The person to the left of the reader now becomes the new reader. Oh, so when there's only one player that has not been matched. Okay, so then maybe you'll, so then 
if there's one guest left, obviously we know who that one is. That makes sense. Okay, sorry, I had to think about that one for a second. But yes, yeah, so when there's one left over, one match, one person who didn't get matched up, it doesn't say what happens. Like, I guess they don't get any points. It's, it didn't say that. It's if you get the match right or the person who, who wrote that response right, then they get a point. The one trick to these games that I have realized or noticed to games similar like these or this game is you got to know the person. I feel like too. There's a part of me that feels like, okay, this person would say this or this person might say this. I don't know. But you got to kind of judge their character as well and be like, okay, I know. I know this is far fetched, but I still think he wrote it because I know him very well. So you got to know the person you're playing with. If you don't, well, you're guessing, I think. So let's, let's play. Say I had, um, I'll, I'll, how about I just read some of the cards and we'll just kind of go through it as I had people around, right? Okay, so for me, just because this is a thick deck, there's two thick decks here, bring them together, um, I would separate them, honestly. And it also helps, set, um, like, shuffling them. So, things Alexis has never... Still never told her parents. So this is the daughter of the former rich family that had to move to Schitt's Creek. So things Alexis has still never told her parents. I, and you know what, whatever pops in my, and, and again, it's like Jackbox, it's like Cards Against Humanity, except it is played differently, like the rules. The responses, of course, are funny, but, um, what she wouldn't tell her parents. I would say something, someone might say something inappropriate, but the first thing that pops into your head, go with it. Don't overthink it, because that's how you screw up, I find. Um, for me, what would my response be? Is she did the deed in her parents' bed, or threw a wild party while they were out of town, or um, got pregnant? I don't know. That one's, that one's, that one doesn't sound like her, the last one <laughs> okay so then does anyone get the card or is it just a throwaway card I believe it didn't, it didn't really say so I'm gonna just say put it back and yeah because then you just count the points on the sheet oh this seems like fun okay one more things Roland could learn from Johnny I don't know who these characters are let's go back uh, Roland and Johnny. Okay, I see. Um, being more humbled would be mine, I guess. Or uh, being less oblivious. Because I think he had kind of an oblivious character. Okay, tell me if I'm wrong. If you love Schitt's Creek, I gotta watch it again because I do like the movie. It is a good movie. Um, but again, that is it for me. Um, let me know if you guys ever played this game before too, because it is. No, it looks like it's a fun. Seems like it's a fun game. But I want to know what you guys think of it. it. Does seem like a fun game. I'm gonna bring it and bring these over to, to Nathan and then you know my my thoughts um, at the end here I kind of want to add a little bit of a review to this one because I really liked how the instructions are some instructions on some of these games are not clear and I'm like what are you trying to say I don't get it like the unstable unicorn one I was highly confused and if you guys understand that one let me know And we can go from there. You guys have an awesome rest of your day. We'll chat soon. I'm looking forward to doing more games with you. And eventually, I do want to have a bunch of people around this game, around this table, 
playing these games because it would be a fun thing to do. I'm gonna put you right here. You see, you see that? Okay. That's a nice spot, but I am gonna bring it out of town with me. Not out of town. Technically out of town. He lives in the country, but um, that'll be a fun game. And maybe I could do like the a bundle of car ride games when you're traveling, because that would be fun. that's also um, those are also fun to do. You can't really do a board game though traveling. It might be a good card game. That would be fun. Anyways, you guys have a great rest of your evening. Have an awesome day and a good weekend. We'll chat soon. Bye now.